Hello guys, Lumi here. Today I'm going to show you how to create something like this, a cosmic edit. Um, this one is called Cosmia. It is by far, on at least on my personal account, the most popular design I've created. And uh, I don't know if you saw my very first tutorial uh, about, uh, about how to create a Philip Hodas inspired um, pink cloud design. But actually it's an interesting Interestingly enough, we're going to use the same technique that we used in that to also create this cosmic cloud. So it's pretty much the same technique except um, a different execution. So first of all, let's go ahead and go through the different photos that we use, that we're going to use. Okay, obviously got one of uh, a guy kind of standing out in the middle of nowhere, but uh, He's about to have a good time, or at least a cosmic one. I guess I can say that much. Got some uh, star texture, and then we're also going to layer that with this. Another star texture, which all of these I just probably just cut off on Splash, I think. Um, this one actually I think is released by NASA. And then for our cloud, we're going to be using these four different textures. So kind of what we're going to do is take these different textures and layer them and put them together. We're going to put them in a group and then we're going to feed the star textures into that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to my guy, <laughs> guy.psd and going to go to my smoke, psd, drag it over, going to take these gonna put them over and what I'm gonna kind of try and do is create an interesting cloud shape so uh, as you can probably already guess this isn't going to be exactly like the other one but it's going to be something like it so I kind of want the smoke to sort of appear as if it is emanating from him and you know what there's not well, there's not necessarily a right or wrong way to do this but um, you know just practice it and see see what you come up with uh, <laughs> when it really comes down to it you have to be able to if you want to be a good designer you have to have good taste because uh, the ability to create something or the ability to criticize and something is the exact same ability required to create it and essentially what that means is that really when you praise someone's work uh, or when you hire someone and when you hire a designer what you're really paying for is in fact their good taste um, it's true you're actually paying them to create something but at the same time it's very true and important to realize that you know what enables them to make something impressive is the fact is number one their ability to create but also and I actually think more importantly their uh, their good taste in design and what looks good because you know logically people probably aren't going to put out things that they think look bad or at least I mean I, I hope they wouldn't <laughs> but hey Gotta do what you gotta do to get those likes, right? <laughs> right? I'm kidding. Alright, this is starting to look interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna go into my guy image and I want to do a little masking. So I'm just gonna take my lasso tool, drag this around him really quickly so I can create a mask so we can have more stuff behind him, actually. Oops. Right. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm actually going to take all of these smoke textures. I'm going to command or control G them to put them in a group. And then I'm going to, oops, actually, I'm going to hit command I or control I on a Windows. I'm going to invert the mask. So now. Now I can actually put stuff behind him where I did the mask so that this can look a bit uh, nicer. See what I mean? So we may need to do some tone matching it looks like, but I'll worry about that later. 
I'm just going to duplicate some of these. Gonna arrange them. And uh, hopefully this hopefully this tutorial won't take too long. Um, I'm gonna go in here. And these I leave you just get them by searching smoke brushes. So I, I like adding a little bit of texture to my smoke. And duplicate that. Convert it to a smart object. Gonna scale it down a bit. For me, I just I like I like that little bit of detail. I think it's nice. So I'm just arranging these. You know, maybe this needs to be subtracted. No, it wasn't that one. Yeah, maybe it looks more interesting without that, or maybe I can take that. Put it up here. So I want this. I want this to be an interesting shape. Uh, not obviously not something boring. And uh, thank you so much, everyone that subscribed. We've got a few hundred people here. Uh, <laughs> honestly, very pleasing. And uh, I hope that I hope that more people will join because. I do feel like I do have some valuable knowledge to share and or at least at the very least my own just personal experience and uh, yeah all right it's not exactly perfect but let's go ahead and try importing some star textures so I'm gonna take this drag it over I'm gonna have this I'm gonna make it I'm gonna right click on it create a clipping mask all right, so here, let's drag this in here too. Um, there we go. Gonna do a brightness and contrast. Now, I could do this with curves, but the way I did it last time was with brightness. So I'm gonna try and keep in suit with that. Let's go to another star texture. also make that and as you can see this is in essence the effect nothing too crazy just uh just some layering and a uh, little effect I'm gonna to make this more dramatic I'm gonna do another brightness layer down here so that there's more contrast yeah, let's take that down actually I'm gonna duplicate this layer feed it into there and you can do all sorts of different things to like finesse this and make it look interesting um, yep it was better just how it was I'm gonna come up here uh, ask this off a little bit and you know what I'm actually gonna see if I can expand this cloud make it more bold so I would just do that by going in here duplicating some of this stuff let's actually bring this down here So actually, I'm going to do a little technique. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it in front. And then I'm actually going to duplicate my star texture, bring it, because I actually want this to be kind of wrapping around him. There we go. So it kind of wraps around his leg. So it's just I'm just feeding that into the one into the one texture. I'm going to drag it around a little bit, make it more interesting. Hmm. No, just the way it was before was good. You know what? Sometimes things are just uh, sometimes things are just better the first time you do them. 
Uh, sometimes other times you get lucky. So, yeah, let me I think I could actually, this could be more interesting. Gonna add a little bit more detail. Yeah, I mean, just apply your own uh, subjective, your own subjective opinion to these things. And you'll use a different pack of smoke brushes, you'll get a different effect. And you know what, just rejoice in that. Um, make something unique. Don't make the exact same thing I made. However, if you would like to look through my PSD, I'll be sure to put a link at the end of the video to the PSD if you'd like it. So yeah, let's go back to original design. So you can see, not exactly the same. Um, but it's the same basic principle and technique, and I could take a lot more time to finesse this, but really I just wanted to show you this uh, pretty simple technique and, you know, it, as you can see, it is the same as, you know, it's, we put a bunch of stuff, we put a bunch of shapes and clouds into a group and then went ahead and fed some textures into it. That's the exact same thing we did for the other tutorial, but this is a different application. And I hope that it just shows you, goes to show, um, you know, the amount of variation and variety that you can create with the same technique, just using different textures. So yeah, this has been Lumi. Uh, please subscribe if you found this interesting and uh, also hit the little Taco Bell icon over on the right. That way you'll be notified when I create new videos. So yeah, this has been Lumi. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.